Colin Rugg recently stirred the pot with his observation that Donald Trump is pulling ahead of Kamala Harris on the political betting platform poly market. According to Colin, Trump now sits at a 56% chance of winning the 2024 election, a 13-point lead over Harris. Well, let's just take a deep breath here because while Colin's comments are great for sparking conversation, let's be real for a second. Betting markets mean absolutely nothing when it comes to elections. I mean, come on, do we really think the most consequential election in modern history is going to leave the betting markets untouched by manipulation? That's a bit like thinking the lottery isn't rigged against you. No shade on Colin Rugg, but Poly Market and other betting platforms are just playgrounds for people with too much money and clearly too much time. Take Freddie 9999, the current king of Poly Market, or whoever this mysterious entity is, holds 7.2 7 million Trump shares and has a whopping $6.4 million riding on Trump alone. But Freddie isn't your typical whale dropping big cash and walking away. Oh no, Freddie's playing chess while the rest of us are stuck on checkers, slowly nudging the price with limit orders. Yeah, this isn't just betting, it's a full-blown strategy. And the best part, Freddie's got a thing for Pennsylvania holding 2.3 million shares of Trump there. Why? Because it's a crucial swing state. And Freddie clearly knows how to play the long game. This isn't just a casual better tossing around lunch money. Whoever, whoever Freddie is, They've got more cash than most of us could ever dream of. Now, here's where the plot thickens. There's speculation that Freddie might be tied to Elon Musk. Yeah, sounds like a stretch, right? Uh, but the tie's a little too perfect to ignore. Musk has ties to Pennsylvania from his college days, and the timing of Freddie's big buys and Musk's public love fest with Trump, it's enough to make you raise an eyebrow. Coincidence? Maybe. But in a world where billionaires are known for playing puppet master, it's not that far-fetched. And that's the problem with betting platforms like Poly Market. They're not an honest reflection of where voters stand. They're a reflection of where the money stands. With Freddie and possibly Elon Musk pulling the strings, what you're seeing isn't public sentiment. It's high-stakes poker with the election as the prize. So, sure, watching Poly Market can be fun, but let's not pretend that a 56% chance for Trump means a thing when it's all being pushed around by big money players. Betting markets are 100% manipulated. And if you think they're not, you might as well believe the tooth fairies running the stock market. But hey, don't take my word for it. What do you think? Is poly market just a fun distraction or do you believe these betting markets actually reflect something real? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button to stay plugged into the real talk.